Hey everybody, welcome to Friday and being all every level of fantastic and awesome. Oh, my cupboard's open. It makes me really angry. I hate having cupboards open and in frame. So we're gonna go like that so it doesn't drive me completely bat shit crazy. So what I wanted to talk with you about today is a conversation that I've been having with some of my private clients, conversation I've been having with some of the people going through the amplification program and just general conversation with um, some other people that I've been talking to as well. And it's around the topic of overwhelm. It's on the subject of anxiety and stuff like that. Now, I don't know about you, but I know for me, uh, anxiety kind of kicks in when I've got almost like, it's almost like too much choice, but then we, I kind of like add into that choice for some, some level of procrastination, right? Now I'm not procrastinating because I, and I'm sure this is the same for you. I'm not procrastinating because I don't have content or because I don't have knowledge or whatever. It's just like, whew, I've got all of this stuff to talk about and I just don't even know where to start and I've got to do this and I've got to do that. And sometimes your to-do list is exploding. And I thought it would be helpful to talk through what I do. Hey, Geordie. Um, and what's really funny is that in this light, it's like the pink post-it notes over here are reflecting on my freshly done hair, making it look like there's a pink tinge, which incidentally, that is not done on purpose. That's just some, some kind of reflection from somewhere. So there you go. So what I do with overwhelm, well, the, I, I've been living in, in the land of overwhelm today. I'm just going to tell it like it is. And you know, with the intention, this is not just about me going um, blah, 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 and airing all my grievances and my stuff. I feel like I'm kind of on the other side, but I think it's important for people, you know, you guys to know that if you are um, feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling anxious, then, you know, you're not alone. It's actually really common, whether you're brand new to business, whether you've been in business like I have for nine years, you know, you've had success on the board and, and everything else. It can be a bit like, well, um, it's just stuff that we have to deal with. I think, you know, different level, different, different levels have their own little set of or big set of issues and stuff like that. So the thing for me that created a whole ton of overwhelm is coming off the back of what has been a really amazing seven days, right? I, I think we've talked about that. Uh, so we had the newspaper interview, the article, the featured article last week. We've had um, the morning show. I just had notification this morning to say that the Koshies, I filmed for Koshies Business Builders, that goes live on Sunday. So really excited about that. Hey, Brittany, great to see you. Um, really excited about all of that. But I guess uh, I don't have articles in Money Magazine wanted, <laughs> bless Money Magazine, uh, they wanted a comment from me uh, as a featured contributor on what my money do-over might be. And so I shared what that was and, you know, they're, they're like, yeah, that's great. So you know, there's all of this really good stuff happening. So you would think that coming into Friday off the back of all of this good news and all this good stuff that I'd be freaking flying high and riding off the back of the wave. And on one hand, I am. But then on the other hand, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is really exciting. You know, what do I do next? What do I do now? I've got a really big to-do list of things that I want to do. And I think the other piece, just to give you a little bit of an insight, I've been really heavily promoting the amplification project for the last two weeks and enrollments are closed for that. So this isn't some uh, sneaky sales pitch. You can't get in now. Um, we're in day five and the girls, the women the fa and the men, they're actually that are in there are doing really, really great, having great breakthroughs and awesome insights. And I'm like, okay, cool. So I've been putting some pressure on myself to 
use some of this magicalness that's been going on in the air, freaking hard work, right, to get to that point. But using some of this magical stuff to to continue to build momentum, and that's really the a big thing that's fueled um, this overwhelm this morning or today. It's afternoon now, so it's been going all freaking day. But we're good. So what I did, the first thing that I did, and I know that this is something that it's important to jam on this stuff with people in your world, people who you trust, mentors, coaches, um, friends, if they get it. I've got one particular friend where we talk about this and it's not, there's no, there's no judgment. She's also running her own business and, you know, we just kind of go back and forth with different things. But the other thing that I did is I, I'm looking for my phone to demonstrate. I was going to role play you what I did, but my phone, I'm talking into it. So that's not going to work. So one of the things that I do is I, I don't like to feel uh, like I'm being needy, right? Who, hands up, who likes to feel needy? Probably not very many people at all. I don't like feeling needy. I also don't feel like feeling uh, boring either. You know, I don't want to be boring for myself, for my mentors, for my friends, to you guys. Oh my God, the worst thing that anybody could say would be, oh my God, Nicola, that was so boring. I'd be like, <sighs> you know, death by Mont Blanc. I would just want to stab myself in the chest. It would be awful. But anyway, as people log off, thanks guys. That was very well timed. So the, the thing for me is to make sure that you're talking about it. So I picked up my phone and I've gone over to the app that I speak to my mentor in. And I'm just like, hey, this is what's going on. There's a little bit of fear kicking in. I've had this really awesome experience, these awesome experiences over the last week. And I'm just really feeling freaking overwhelmed. And I've stopped promoting the amplification project. And I think I know what I want to you know, what I want to start talking about next, but I haven't even got the bones around it. I know roughly it's kind of like all the way I think about it and the way I create programs and offers is like, it's almost like it's all up here, right? So let's see if I can put that back there and you can see, oh, I have to shut the cupboard. As you see my top, love always wins. Always. Love always wins. So I was like, okay, all of the stuff, like the ideas, my content, the, the, the new programs, the new offers, whatever, all my marketing is sort of like living up here, right? And it's a bit of a soup up there. And what I know is that when I start journaling, that that stuff comes kind of down from there. You might call that God, universe, source, whatever, the cosmic soup uh, I tend to think about it as like um, like just, just consciousness up there, right? And so the kind of thing that I do is I'm like, okay, so how, what, what tool do I need to do to use in order to kind of drag some of this down and, and into my brain and then out? into the world you know it's like how do I what am I going to do how am I going to create that and I'm like I've got a journal I have to journal and I'm like I'm throwing a fucking tantrum I'm like I don't want a journal so what did I write in here <laughs> the literal thing right and this all this all makes sense right so we're talking about dealing with overwhelm stuff like this oh no hang on I don't want to drown oh Nicola um keeping it real here we go. Oh gosh, I probably should have brushed my eyelashes before we went live. Oh, that looks really terrible. Okay, anyway, it's not about my eyelashes, it's about overwhelm. So in my journal, uh, look at this. Tantrum, 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 tantrum. Nicola, you need to fucking stop it, stop it, stop it. The rest says, what would you tell people to do? And I've gone, I tell people to stop being a whingy bitch and get on with it. So go do that. <laughs> like, that is my literal, um, my literal journal to, to like try and get out of, in my effort to try and get out of this overwhelm moment, right? Stop being a whingy bitch and get on with it. Now, I'm not going to ever tell a client, never, ever, ever going to tell a client, stop being a whingy bitch and just get on with it. 
Sometimes I might, but usually it's like, okay, so what's really going on here? And what I wrote down was, and I actually did this before I told myself off in my journal, I said, you know, why am I afraid? And it was, what if nothing changes? And I wrote, well, you've got to stop resisting. And I wrote, what have I been putting off? I've been putting off writing. I've been putting off writing in my journal, being excited, getting my hopes up. <laughs> How's this, guys? And this ties into this thing. I wrote, I feel like I'm boring, talking all about the same things all of the time. I just want more, more fun. Um, and that's really what I, what I had in there is like, okay, cool. So now that we've got that purge out and the biggest fear for me is that I'm boring. It's like, okay, cool. So what is it that you're going to do now? Right? So clear the space, get rid of the shit. It's a bit like if you're constipated, right? We're going to just go graphic for a sec. If you're constipated, I need a piece of paper. Hold on. A brown texture paper. A brown texture. A brown sharpie. Because, you know, who? So, <laughs> if we've just met because you saw me on TV this week, hi and welcome. Welcome to the land of Nicola. So, if you've got... <laughs> All right, are we ready? This is going to be mind blowing. You're just going to love the crap out of this. This is your bowel and this is your poo hole, right? And this here is all of the poo and all of the crap and all of the shit that's making you constipated. Now, the only way that all of this stuff can come out is by getting rid of that little fucker there. Yep. So that needs to come out in order for this to come out. And once this comes out, as we know, all of this comes out so much easier. Oh, Jones, you're going to laugh your ass off. We're talking about being constipated. So a lot of the time that happens, a lot of the stuff that happens, if we're thinking about all the metaphor here that we're thinking about is when you're stuck for content or when, when you're overwhelmed or when you're in fear or when you're um, feeling bloated of crapness, then it's really important for you to get rid of the freaking plug, right? And there, are, um, we're not even going to get into the multitude of different ways that you can do that for your physical body. But for your creative body, for your energetic body, for your mind body... It's freaking critical that we're clearing out that plug, that we're, we're flushing it out so that you can actually start to go, all right, well, what is it that I actually want? Yeah. It is like writer's block, Geordie. You are correct that you're just that piece of poo that won't get out of your head. So one of the things that I found really easy, not easy all the time because I procrastinate on it, even though I know it's going to fix it and help it is kind of doing that purge, right? So I had, to, there was the, why am I afraid? Why am I doing this? Why am I putting this off? You know, what is it that you really want? You know, with like the fear around being boring, all of that kind of stuff. And then it's like, okay, cool. Now that all of the shit is out of the way, now we can, it's like a good like juice cleanse, bowel cleanse. Once that bowel cleanse is done, you then need to, if you don't want to get constipated again, right? Because that hurts. But <laughs> you've got to start fueling your body with the good stuff, right? Don't look on my chair. I've got Lolly sitting on my chair over there and after being sugar-free for many, many months, nearly years. And there's sugar sitting over there. So you do the bowel cleanse and then you've got to start fueling your body with all of the good stuff that is going to be absorbed really, really well because all of that stomach wall, your bowel lining and everything is all nice and clean and clear. So you start putting good stuff in and you'll actually find that the system flushes through much nicer, right? So there's not going to be any of this. It's just going to keep going like blah, blah and just coming on out, right? So there, there should not be any blockages. 
If you get a hint of a blockage though, then you need to do some purging and you need to do some, maybe go eat some dates. So with your content, with your mindset, with this overwhelm, with this anxiety, just like if you were feeling really bloated and things like that, then you would go to, the, sorry about that. You would go to the chemist, you would go and get something for it, or you'd eat some dates and you would do the thing. For your creativity, for your overwhelm, we've got to get really clear on why you are feeling overwhelmed. Because overwhelm doesn't just happen. Anxiety doesn't just happen. There is always a trigger. And we want to take a look at what that might be. So for me, the trigger is I've got a really big tax bill due next week. <laughs> Sorry, next month. And I'm like, okay, cool. You know, we've, we've got that coming up. That's really great. Um, got all of these things going on, which is really awesome. And, you know, it's always fine. It's always going to be fine. Tax always gets paid in full, either on time or before without fail. Hey, Dad, you just mi missed our really shit conversation. <laughs> like talking about literal poo. Um, and, you know, for me, that was a bit of a trigger for overwhelm. The other trigger for overwhelm was around all of this good stuff is happening and how do I, you know, what do I need to do to maximize it? Hey, Carol. Now, I already know that, right? So it was almost like a, a, a what is the, um, like an automatic muscular response, like your muscle memory, right? You know how if you haven't, you might not have ridden a bike for years, but I can guarantee you that if you go and jump on a bike now, you'll be able to ride a bike. If you ride, uh, used to skate, like on your roller skates when you were 15, you would put your roller skates on right now and you'd skate like a badass in the space of like 15 minutes. Trust me, we've seen it all, like all the time. So it's more around like this overwhelm and anxiety. And I'm, I'm not a therapist, but this is what how I can relate to it. It's almost like you've had this fear-based thought or you're, you're sitting in scarcity, or you're worried about lack, or you're worried, you're worried about something external to you, right? It's usually that we're worried about something external, and that's usually the thing that causes anxiety and stress and overwhelm and all of that stuff and fear. So the thing to do is to go, okay, well, I can't control anything out there. All I can do is I can only control and not even control yourself, but heal and deal with whatever it is that's going on, yeah? And that's all you can do. So the best piece of advice that I can give you is to get like, do your, <laughs> get unconstipated by blur in, into your journal. I, I literally wrote tantrum, 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 tantrum. Nicola, you need to fucking stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop being a whinging bitch and get on with it. And once I'd written that, it's like, okay, well, if I knew what I wanted to talk about next, then what would that be? And it's like, well, it's almost like a, it wasn't even the thing that I thought I'd be talking about in my journal. I've gone, oh, okay, like million dollar mindset reset, seven day intensive. And I'm like, I just started doing some dot points on that. And I'm like, well, that sounds really fucking boring. Um, and then I was in my, in my journal, I was like, oh, I was just reading what I've written because I've jumped in all the different pages today. It's really, really strange. It kind of, it's an indication of where my head's at. I've gone, good day all, because I was pretending that I was on stage. So good day all. You asked for a savior, so here I am. Because I had a Robbie Williams uh, song playing and that was the, the first line of the song. And I started writing, you've done amazing things, you're successful. And I was like, that sounds like shit. <laughs> so I stopped writing. <laughs> so where I'm going with all of this, oh, thank you, Yolanda. I think I'm pretty funny. Um, where I'm going with all of this is it's really normal to feel overwhelmed. It's also really normal to feel anxious. It's actually really normal to have conversations around maybe your money mindset today is like gone on freaking gone somewhere and it's not with you. 
you know, like it's left you, the good money mindset has gone, I'm out of here, peace out. And it's like that bad, the bad cousin, the bad money mindset cousin sitting here whooping your ass, right? Maybe it's about motivation. Maybe it's about, oh, I know the other thing. It's like, I haven't, I haven't exercised properly for like two weeks with all the travel and stuff that we've been doing. I did a class yesterday and like, that was really great, but I feel like I'm freaking the size of a house, which I know I'm not, right? But it's just kind of like where, you know, maybe that's another thing that kind of comes in and it kicks your ass. It's like, well, you know what? You're not doing this. You're not doing that. You know, I talk a lot about journaling and having journaled as frequently as what I would like. And I think that's where we really need to start to build in this discipline again, saying this for my benefit as well as for yours, bringing in the discipline around doing the things that you know work for you. Okay, so the things that I know work for me every day of the week that have me feeling aligned, alive, energized, energetic, on fire with content, excited, you know, just almost like downloading constantly through the day is when I, look at that really weird hair. Sorry about that. I can't, it won't stick down. (laughs) The things that I do is I go for a walk every morning. I then come home and normally what I would do is grab out my journal, start writing in it like a badass, get that done. And then normally I stand up and I start doing, I do some energy work. Like I'm cutting cords, I'm cleaning my field, I'm getting grounded, I'm, I actually spend a bit of time making sure that so that my brain body is clean and clear and done. Then I work on my energetic body being clean and clear and done. And then I normally work out unless I'm going to a, an actual class at the gym. And all of that is done usually by eight o'clock in the morning. So, and then there's normally the school run and rah, rah, rah. So that's my normal disciplined routine. But interestingly, if we look at the last two weeks, that has just been completely turned on its head for a range of different reasons with travel, with my son, with um, being in Sydney this week, and then I'm traveling again tomorrow with my daughter, and there's all of this stuff. So anyway, I think you get the point. So... You don't have to live in the world of anxiety and overwhelm. The things that I would do before you start going, and I mean, each to their own, um, there are some days where I will take medication for anxiety. Just putting that out there. Sometimes it is just so debilitating and I am so overwhelmed that I almost literally can't function. Um, That's not for everyone. It's just a choice that I've made because that's, just sometimes what it is that that I need to do in terms of being able to function. But what I do before that is I do the journaling. I do the things, you know, I go through these things that I've been talking to you about and telling you about because what I know is that if I can release that shit plug by doing all of these other things, all of these other things first before going and trying something else to get rid of that, then that to me feels more aligned for me, right? But it's it's up to you how, how you choose to do it. Uh, so that's that for me today. I trust that that's helpful. Um, a little bit more, kind of a little bit scattered today, but, uh, but I trust that you, you were really, hey, Lauren, that it also kind of made sense with, with going through it. And I mean, I, I, I have not done a, a live video this late in the day for a long time, you know, it's what, three o'clock, three, th- holy shit, it's 3.24. Um, so, you know, normally I would have done this a lot earlier, right? Closer to, well, today I would have normally done it about one o'clock because I've gone and had my hair did. Um, but I just, I couldn't, like I couldn't even, I couldn't, I just couldn't even, right? I couldn't even get the phone up. And, and it actually got to the point where my phone's sitting, I'd opened it. I don't know if you guys do this. Open up my phone. I actually, I don't open up my phone. I opened up my phone case 
and I opened up the phone, I've gone to Facebook, shut that, gone to Instagram, shut that, opened up the page, shut that. And then I went, closed the phone. 30 seconds later, I'm like opening that up and I've looked, I've done the same thing. And I'm like, ah, Nicola, you need to fucking stop it, right? So I've looked at my little thing about my tantrum in my journal. And it's like, okay, tantrum, tantrum. Well, what the fuck are you going to do about it? It's like, well, I've got to do a live. I actually need to do a live on this because I know that this isn't just for me. You know, if I'm if I'm working through this and I've been doing this for a really long time, you know, we've established that. Um, I don't know why I feel like I need to keep saying that. I think it's to make it. So, no, I know why it is. I had a conversation with a client yesterday and she's like, oh, so what, so what do you feel like you need the most help with? And she said, well, you know, I've got the ads working. I've got my marketing working. I've got my students working. You know, everything's working. I said, that's really great. And she said, so, you know, I don't think that there's anything else in terms of business that I want to talk about. She said, it really is the mindset part. And I said, well, of course, you know, you can go and learn all of the things, but really at the end of the day, the stuff that is going to keep you moving forward and growing is mindset, coaching, getting out of your own way, you know, throwing a tantrum in your journal, <laughs> getting rid of the, getting rid of the clogged up clogness and, and then going and do something about it. So for me today, it was like, all right, well, if I'm going through this and I've been doing this for a long time, this lady's been working with me since 2013, March 2013. And I know that other clients of mine who have been working with me since 2014, they get, they have this, you know, we have similar conversations around, um, around mindset, around remaining successful about and becoming more successful about extending it up and, and continuing to go. The other thing that I think that tends to happen, I was going to draw another picture, which will hopefully work. So if I put that there like that, because we don't need the poo tube in the background, we just need that. So if you imagine that you're like you're here after two years in business, and then you want to go, like you want to keep growing. You've got to keep being able to ascend and increase your frequency, your knowledge, your um, your everything, right? You've, you've got to be really committed to, to growth and getting up. And it's not usually in order to get from here to here. It's not like going, oh, I need to go and do a different ad campaign or oh, I'm going to go from here to here. Maybe I should go do some automated webinars. You know, it, it's not that. It really is about you and your mindset. So where I'm going with that is that we've got, I know that there are people in here that are brand new to business people. There are people in, in who are in here who have been in business for a couple of years, maybe five years, maybe 10 years, whatever. Uh, there are people in here who are making not very much money and there are people in here who are absolutely freaking crushing it. And from my experience in being every one of those levels, so being a brand new to business person in, you know, nine years ago in this business, nine years ago to doing millions of dollars in sales, to having clients, to working internationally, to doing all of this, you know, being in the media and everything else, we still have no matter what level that you're at, we still have head stuff that goes on, right? I think what happens though is that once you start to kind of move along further and faster, particularly if you've got people around you to help you through it, you actually get the, you, you build up the muscle to move through it quicker, okay? I trust that that makes sense. Now, I don't have anything to sell you. Isn't that interesting? I'm really sorry about that. I actually don't have anything to sell you today. So I'm not gonna talk to you about a thing that I'm doing that we're starting or <laughs> anything like that, because I got nothing. Unless you wanna go and buy a book, like if you found um, you know, this stuff that we've been talking about, you can go buy a book on my website, but you don't have to. Um, but I just, I guess that the reason that I wanted to come on today is to let you know that you're not alone. If you, or, and if you do ever experience every, any level of overwhelm, 
or, and or anxiety and or stress or anything like that, really go through, do, do the journaling piece. I think that's, that's really super important. The other piece for me that I think is actually crucial and critical is making sure that you are really disciplined around how you look after yourself. So what I mean by that is like I was chatting earlier about, um, yeah, looking after yourself. So what I do is like I make sure I go to the gym or I work out here most days. I look after my energetic body and looking after my mind body. I actually also do some other stuff in terms of spiritual stuff that I do. So I make sure that that's all taken care of. And the result of me not doing that when I'm not vigilant around it is that how I was feeling today becomes more of an everyday occurrence rather than a rather than an ad hoc occurrence, right? So make sure that you are actually building these disciplines into your day so that you can be operating at peak performance at a peak performance level. High achievers, athletes, uh, top performers in anything, in any area of business or sport or anything like that, they have almost rituals that they do and that they, they practice on a daily basis because otherwise they get all blocked up. And then that makes them run slower or jump lower or be lethargic or, you know, affects their mind, which then affects their self-esteem, which then affects their productivity, which then increases procrastination and bang, you've got the biggest freaking constipated belly you've ever, ever had in your whole entire life. And now that hurts like a motherfucker, right? You don't want to be like that because that's just not fun. You know, it's like having a baby almost, right? It's like, you don't want to have to pass that block. It's like, you've got, if you're if you're feeling blocked in your head, you want to try and get it while it's a little block. You don't want it to fester and get bigger because then it's a lot harder to move. Um, okay. That's me. I'm going to stop jibber jabbering now. Thank you all for hanging out. Uh, super happy. I think it's Friday. I think it's Friday. Yes, it's Friday. We've got my son-in-law who's not, my daughter's not married, but they've been together for a couple of years. We've got an 18th to go to tonight. So excited. Um, <laughs> bless his heart. Oh my gosh. These children, when they turn 18, it just makes me want to vomit. I'm just saying it's not very much fun. And although, and he's not even my son, which is really hilarious. So there you go. I'm going to go and get prepped for that. And we've got a weekend filled with roller derby goodness. Oh my God. I'm skating in two games this weekend. So I might even decide to do a live from down there and just give you guys a bit of a, um, an insight into like another part of my world, another part of my life. It's actually a really, really big part of my world and my life. I coach it as well and I'm playing and, um, show you guys some of the, some of the fun that is the derbs. Um, I think that's all for me today. So go get out there, help some people, get visible, have a bunch of fun doing it. And if this has been helpful, let me know. Um, yeah, that'd be cool. Awesome. Geordie, my boy is 23 today. Where did the years go? I, I have no words. It doesn't happen. I, they're, 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 yes, I do. <laughs> I was going to say it doesn't happen very often. Yes. Um, congratulations and commiserations. Uh, my mom always tells me that it doesn't actually get any better. It's just like, you know, we all just kind of keep getting older and it just becomes more and more confusing. So I hope you have a great night celebrating your son's 23rd birthday. We're going to go and celebrate my not son-in-law because we do not need them to be married. Uh, we're going to go and celebrate his 18th and then the derby and all of the fun. So take care, everyone. Like I said, get out there, go help some people, be you. And most of all, have a whole shit ton of fun doing it. All right. I'll talk to you soon.